Now on to this week's science briefs. In Italy, the train company TAV made some unusual discoveries while it was constructing a new high-speed rail line across the country. They found hundreds of ancient Roman ruins. In one section only 12 miles long, archaeologists discovered 52 structures of great historical interest, all of which had been unknown and covered until the rail construction began. One building currently being excavated is a villa that dates back to the first century BC. And this particular mosaic, which is original um, of the first phase of the villa, is um, a very interesting one. It's the only one we found with glass tessera, colored glass tessera. But it's also because um, it has glass tessera, it's one of the most delicate ones. The home contained intricate floral mosaics on the walls and ceiling, which have now collapsed, leaving plaster crusted on top of the designs. While we are uncovering the mosaic, we are um, cleaning it um, just um, on a surface level, leaving, um, as you can see here, a, a small layer of, of this re-cemented mortar in order to keep the tessera in place. Another discovery on the same site is a large structure with many rooms, likely the country home of a wealthy Roman family. Archaeologists say these finds have improved their understanding of the urban landscape and the history of Rome. All, uh, all this area uh, perhaps become an archaeological park, and uh, I hope so because uh, I think it's very, very beautiful. And finally, for those who don't want to leave home to imagine what ancient Rome looked like, Teams of multimedia designers, historians, and archaeologists are working together to create an interactive digital representation of the city through the ages. We would like to create a tool which permit to discover the history of the development of the city of Rome. Using archaeological finds as well as old maps of the city, Stefano Moretti and others at the multimedia design firm Altair 4 have put together a program that allows users to step into ancient Rome as it likely appeared at various times between the 6th century BC and 9th century AD. You can also peek inside many of the city's ancient ruins and see what they might have looked like centuries ago. Along the way, you can pull up facts and historical information to give context to your visit. And other cool features include the ability to see how the shapes of the city's blocks were determined by earlier buildings and landmarks. Meanwhile, in a related project at the University of Rome, researchers are using an ancient artifact known as the Forma Urbis to help create an interactive map of the city. Forma Urbis was a map of Rome. It was carved in marble slabs. And it was a huge map. It was 240 meter, square meters wide. This map was broken into over 1,000 pieces, but researchers have fit the remaining fragments together like a giant puzzle and digitized it to see what Rome looked like during the Formus creation in the 3rd century AD. Users of this program can see a map of modern-day Rome overlaid with what it looked like thousands of years ago. Local planners can consult it to make sure they're not about to build on top of a place of cultural heritage. Tourists can use it to find exposed archaeological sites. Dr. Carafa hopes to have the new updated maps of Rome on the web and available to the public later this month. Coming up on Discoveries this week, a driving simulator helps to put the brakes on real-life traffic accidents.